This is information you need to know. In today's conversation, I want to speak to you about the Navy Fed membership application step-by-step, line-by-line instructions for applicants 18 and over. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you're all doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee, or tea, or vodka, and let's roll. <laughs> In today's convo, I want to give you a step-by-step, line-by-line instruction for how to fill your Navy Fed membership application. Today's program will teach you how to easily fill two forms, not, not one, two. First, you have the Navy Fed m- membership for applicants 18 and over, and the Navy Fed membership application for a minor. The second form is so important, folks. Therefore, I recommend you stick it around till the end of the program because a Navy Fed membership is one of the best presents you can ever give to an uh, underage person, whether he or she is your son or daughter, nephew or niece, cousin, friend, or just a simple acquaintance. I'll explain later on why the gift is so important and why that gift could change his or her financial path in the future. Just to give you a little teaser, take a look at what you have currently on the screen. Appetizing, isn't it? Okay, more on that later on. Here are the links to both forms. In in case you want to download them, you want to file the paper form, that's not a problem. So you have uh, the Navy Fed membership application for applicants 18 and over. And then you have the Navy Fed membership application for a minor. One thing I want to see here is that you can apply for a Navy Fed membership online or by downloading, filling out, and submitting the form at the bridge. Whether we're talking about the Navy Fed membership application for adults or the minor application. So in today's conversation, I will walk you through the online application, which is faster and easier. But for the sake of knowledge, I'll also quickly show you how the paper form looks like so you have an idea. And also just in case you like to file manually. Okay, so this is important. So this is, I'm laying out the foundation for today's conversation. And uh, one thing I want to say also is that I, I want to quickly repeat it. It's important that you file an application for a minor, even if he or she is two years old, three years old, four years old, five years old. With the Navy Fed, you have something called seniority. The longer you have uh, an account with the institution, the better. All right, let's start with Navy Fed membership application for applicants 18 and over. Let's talk about the paper form. Look on the screen, folks. So here is the, the application. So you can see here that first they ask you for your information. Pretty straightforward, your name, first name, last name, your social, your date of birth. And now they want to check your membership eligibility. So as you know, Navy Fed has a military affiliation, so you can qualify through a profession, through your affiliation with the military, through your family. But even if you don't qualify, there are, there are other ways to qualify. Not a problem. You can qualify through affiliation. For example, um, basically you can see on, uh, on C, it says affiliation. So those, this is uh, either you're part of the Navy, the Marine Corps, so on and so forth, or if you have, if you are a non-military DOD employee, or you can also qualify through family or household. But again, as I said, there are other ways to qualify based on the employer you work for, the, the company you work for. D, where it says employment status, you put uh, whatever category applies to you. E, you have your contact information, your current home address. Again, here, this is your, your zip, your city and state. Your driver's license, make sure that you fill all information properly. Your driver's license, the state, the issue date, the expiration date, your email address, your cell phone. Cell phone number is very important, okay? And um, section F, here you talk about your employment. When you started, how long you've been there, what kind of company you work for, the employer's address, important. And uh, G, they want to, they, they want to know how you heard about Navy Fed. H, here they talk about the products and services. 
okay so if you're interested you want to open a savings account and uh, checking accounts so just double check or cross all the boxes that apply to you next you 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 can enroll in navy fed uh, direct deposit of net payroll in payroll your uh, every two weeks or your monthly uh, pay pay stuffs can be deposited into navy fed and you, you can also add joint owner information if you open in this account for you and your spouse you can add that you want to add the your spouse's information next we want to talk about joint owner employment information again this is if you open the account with uh, your spouse you want to put the same info for your spouse and k is just purely legalese you just need to read that it just talks about account opening disclosures and agreement and survivorship designation it's important you can if you want to have a joint account with survivorship that's fine and that, what, what that means is that on the death of an account owner the deceased shares pass to the surviving owner or you can just have a joint account with no survivorship and in that case the deceased shares will pass to the estate next you can see here you just have to uh, sign the paper you have to sign the form uh, you have to sign and date it and if you have a joint account the joint owner also must sign and date and this is pretty much it okay and uh of course make sure that you're not a, a non-resident alien because if you are then uh, you have to complete uh, a form w8 b e n So that was for the uh, paper form. Now let's talk about the online form. This, this one is a lot faster, as I said, and I, I, I wanted to go through the paper form because I wanted to have to give you an idea of what things look like. And also for folks who want to download the form and fill it out and just drop it at the nearest NFCU branch. Now let's talk about the online form. So here you go to the Navy Fed website and you have to click on join now. And they're asking you whether you are eligible for membership as you can see here on the next screen here if you're active duty retired and veterans you can uh, you can you qualify if you're a family member also you qualify a family member of um, of uh, someone in the service if you're a DOD civilian you, you also qualify and they also want to talk about minor membership so if you are an existing member and a parent, grandparents or a guardian of a minor you, you can sign it you can sign in and share the gift of membership using uh, Navy Fed's online minor membership application. The only thing is that we we don't have a paper form. Uh, you can apply online or you can apply in paper form, but you can only apply for a minor after you, the guardian or the parents, are already an existing member. Okay. So now, next, they're telling you before you apply online you need to have your social security number your current home address your driver's license or government id and the credit card or bank account and writing number to fund your account and this is this is important because you're basically given access to navy fed and you're telling them how to uh, actually uh how you're going to fund your account all right so let's move on so here they say let's make sure you are eligible for a membership so they first want you to verify that you are indeed eligible for membership so which statements describes you best i'm serving in the military i'm a dod employee or contractor i'm a related i'm related to a navy fed member i live with a navy fed member this is this is the classical way to join navy fed now if this does not apply to you if none of this applies to you you can move on to the next step to the next uh, screenshot i'm a u.s government employee blah blah, blah. and uh, what we interested in is i am eligible through a select employee group so for folks who have no affiliation with the military this is the most interesting uh, route for you to join navy fed okay i am eligible through an seg so click on that and that's what we're going to click on and so here they're going to ask you what company do you work for so they gave you a lot of uh, options and in our case we put other and you could put the company or association name we put Google, but you, but you can put any company you want, and uh, because Navy Fed has partnerships with uh, thousands of companies across the nation, so so we put Google in this case. So you click continue, and then they're asking you what describes you best. You are employed outside government. 
because uh, Google is not a government company, right? And then that's it. See here, if you click uh, continue, it says you are eligible for membership. And that's it. So now they want you to, to read some, uh, some uh, disclosures, you know, the USA Patriot Act and consumer reports. So this is where you authorize Navy Fed to obtain consumer reports about you during the membership to consider you for offers of or related to Navy Fed's products and services. So just click I agree and continue. Next, they want to know about yourself, right? Tell us about yourself. So you put your first name, last name, you put your date of birth, of course. I mean, none of this information is, uh, we just put fictitious info, right? So just, I'm sure you figured that out. And they want you to have your, um, your social, we have to put your citizenship status. Remember that if you are a, a green card holder, if you are a resident alien, you can still qualify for a Navy Fed membership. Even if you are a foreigner, you can still qualify. But in this case, you're going to have to, to input your ITIN, your individual tax identification number. But also, you're going to have to complete some uh, tax forms, including the W-8BEN. You have to put your gender. And uh, if, if you have been referred to Navy Fed, you can put the referral information so that the, uh, the appropriate member can be rewarded. Click Continue. Now they want to know more about uh, your email address. You just put your email address and your primary phone number. Next, you want to put which category your phone is. Is it a mobile, home or work? And you want to put your primary address if you are in the United States or you live overseas. If you are at a military appeal box or that kind of stuff. Next, you want to put your address, your, your zip, your state, your city. And they want to know if you've been living here for, you've been living there for at least uh, six months. You'll put yes, if applicable. And the government ID type, you're going to use your driver's license. Just put that, put the number, the ID number, the issue, the state of issuance. This is important for Navy Fed, right? Because they're trying to, they really want to make sure that they can identify you. This is just the algorithm making sure that whatever number you put, they can go back into their database and see, okay, this is a, this matches, this person is legit. And this is really important. One thing I also want to see here is that, um, even if you live, um, even if you have a PO box as your address, they will still approve you. The only thing is that this, they might need more, um, ident identifiable data. If you have a PO box, then, uh, they will see anyway on your government ID where you live for real, like your residence. And you want to click continue. Now they want to know more about your employment status. Okay. So you talk about your employer name. We put sweetie, sweetie, we show in Google. You want to put your job title, your, the, the type of uh, business or profession you're in. Next, if you want to add a joint owner to your account, you can do so here. But in our case, with this is just for the sake of speed. So we said no, but if you have to, then you have to add a joint owner account. And that owner account, that owner rather, will also have to indicate all the information about himself or herself. Click continue. And you can choose your accounts. Now, now you have to choose your accounts. What kind of account do you need? Membership savings account and or checking accounts and you can see on the screen the advantages that come with each account category and you, you can also choose a flagship checking account or everyday checking now remember that navy, navy fed is not forcing you you can choose i don't want to open a checking account today but honestly we strongly encourage you to open an account with them and uh, so you can say add accounts next they are asking you how do you want to make uh, your initial deposit so you can mail a check because uh, to open a Navy check account, you need to fund it. So you can fund it through uh, wire transfer from another bank, through credit card or debit card, or you can mail a check. Okay. If you want to mail a check, the address is on the screen. Navy Fed Credit Union, PO Box 3100, Merrifield, Virginia, 22119, 3100. Or you can visit a branch, right? That's a lot easier. And click continue. And here you have the member consent to terms and conditions. 
here you can download everything and read it to make sure that you're comfortable with the language and then uh, you move on so they have a series of documents here you can see so you have the Navy Fed Credit Union important disclosures schedule of fees and charges you have the membership savings accounts next you have also for the checking accounts you have also a plethora if you will of uh, disclosures now all of this nobody reads them but I strongly encourage you at least to download them and have it have them in your file and here next we have the primary account owner tax ID certification this just basically means that you have provided the right information in terms of your social that you have no that you're not subject to backup withholding from the IRS and that you are a US citizen or US green card holder next you have to also authorize uh, for wireless uh, wireless operators to disclose information in case they're contacting you you, you know they use uh, if you are with AT&T, Sprint, T-Mobile, US Cellular, Verizon, whatever, you're just giving access to Navy Fed to contact you. And then click I agree and continue. Now, they just want you to review and submit your membership. So you have chosen to, you can see on the confirmation page, you have your membership savings. This is the account you chose to open, $5 so you can fund the account. And you have also chosen easy checking, free easy checking. If you have a promo code, now is the time to add it by clicking on that link. If not, just click Submit Application. So once you submit here, they'll tell you, hey, listen, we are reviewing your membership application. Please allow five business days for processing. We'll let you know via email or mail once we're done. Okay. And uh, it probably takes one or two days, really. And here, and uh, there are a series of documents you also need to know. Loan instructions to members. In case you are interested in uh, getting a loan from uh, Navy Fed, there are very important loan instructions that you need to read. And this is the first one on the screen. They want you to verify your name, address, amount financed. I'm showing this to you here because uh, based on our research, more than 60% of Navy Fed members have applied for a loan in their lives. Okay. It could be, a, they have applied for a Navy Fed loan. It can be a mortgage it can be a uh, a car loan it can be a personal loan it can be a business line of credit so this information is kind of important on the next screen this is just a continuation of uh, the loan instructions we also have here the title and lien recording process guide for collateral loans so notice the co-signer guarantor okay and that's it so we did receive actually a verification email from Navy Fed based on our application. So what they're asking us to submit documents within 30 days. So that you can see on the screen here what we need to submit. And basically the reason why we're getting this kind of a notification is because all the info we inputted during the application process was fictitious. So normally if you are a regular guy like me, I mean, like you basically are putting your correct information so if you put all the right information navy fed will might approve you right away or they will they will not be asking you to provide additional information it's just because we just gave the wrong data because this video is purely educational you can see on the next screen they're asking you for other information your w2 your utility bills your bank statements all of this is meant to be able to identify you Now let me talk to you about the Navy Fed membership application for a minor. But before I do that, give me, let me just take a break. I'll be right back right after this. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. We're also having a conversation about Navy Fed membership application. This is line-by-line -line instructions, and I'm giving you also a step-by-step -step guide. Now, let's talk about the Navy Fed membership application for a minor. If you are an existing member and a parent, grandparent, or guardian, you can share the gift of membership with someone under 18 using Navy Fed's online minor membership application. Or you can visit a branch or call the, the credit union at one 888-842-6328 to learn about opening a minor membership. 1-888-842-6328. Let's get right into it. Now, one thing I want to say here is that 
you uh, the the reason why you want to open a, a minor membership for your underage person, your underage relative, is that smart money habit starts early. Honestly, and Navy Fed is just such a great institution, and both you can apply online or manually. Both application routes are identical. In today's program, I will walk you through the paper form. But before that, let me tell you why it's critical to enroll your child or underage relative early on in a financial institution as prestigious as Navy Federal. You want to set the stage, folks. It's important. As your children become interested in money, be it through an allowance or a birthday check from grandma, you want to start teaching them how to handle it wisely. And uh, you want to make financial goals with your children. It's important. You can discuss that with them. You want to teach smart spending. Because as their savings grow, you can start instilling responsible consumer behavior in your children. You want to help them avoid impulse buying and demonstrate how to compare items based on price and quality. And those are lifelong virtues, folks. This is the kind of stuff that you want to teach your, your child at a very young age. You want to start young. Navy Fed has a suite of uh, products available to their youngest members with options that will grow along with them and their finances. You also, the Navy Fed offers a personal savings, education savings, prepaid card. You can help your students make the switch from paper to plastic responsibly with uh, what the Navy Fed called the Visa Bucks. And this is a reloadable pre prepaid card that allows parents to set spending limits and manage account activity to reinforce the importance of smart spending. You have With that, you have a free campus check-in. You have a mobile and online banking because as your children grow, there is there is bound to be a shift in their spending and saving habits, right? So this is why it is quite essential in our view to continue conversations about financial goals and responsible behavior as they graduate from simple savings to prepaid cards and checking accounts. So Navy Fed's mobile and online banking can help them accomplish that. Now, I want you to look on the screen right now. Look the constellation of world-class products and services for your children that Navy Fed offers, no matter their age. Look for a few seconds and please let this sink in, please. So they have a basic savings, save first, easy start certificate, education savings, visa bucks, free campus check-in, Navy Fed debit card. Let this sink in wonderful so this is why you want to open a navy fed minor account today now let's talk about the paper form i want to walk you through the paper form here because we we can't do the online form because we have no child in, in our team no nobody nobody in our team has a child that they want to uh, enroll through Navy Fed. Most of them are already enrolled anyway. So we just want to walk you through the manual form. It's the same thing. Okay. So you can see on the first screen here, this is a Navy Fed membership application for a minor. You put the minor's eligibility. So it, it, it can be through a family or through a association. You want to put the name of the member through whom the minor is eligible, the access number and the relationship to the minor be it dad, mom, aunt, you know, aunt, uncle, so on and so forth. You want to put in B, you want to put the minor, minor's information. You want to put the email address if needed. And then you put uh, products and services. This is important. And I want you to really pay attention here. This is section C. So you will receive the products and services checked. So savings membership accounts required, you can check others. So you have the free campus checking accounts. Remember that the minor must be 14 years or, of age or older. We found that the, the Q card is kind of cool too for ATM access only. This is just a way to manage spending by your child. So you know exactly how much he or she is spending. You can also go for Navy Fed mobile and online banking and Navy Fed debit card. Session D. This is joint owner one information. So basically this is uh, if you have, uh, let's say you and your spouse are enrolling your, uh, 
your child into Navy Fed, then you want to put your uh, your spouse also. You want to put your, your spouse's information also here. So you put the first name, last name, date of birth, all that kind of good stuff. You want to put the address. Okay. You want to uh, put other information. Or for example, you were already a member, and then you met someone, or you got married, and that person is not yet a Navy Fed member. So you want to indicate that information here, so Navy Fed can update their systems, right? And in section E, you want to put the uh, the joint owner one um, employment information, and this you know you want to put everything from the employer's name, the job title, the type of business they're they're in, how long uh, the joint owner has been with that employer, the employer's address, all that kind of good stuff. In section F, if there is a second joint owner, you can also uh, indicate that. Okay, so you indicate the same information. So the address, first name, last name, uh, address, social security number, all that kind of stuff. I mean, there are there are cases where a Navy Fed account can be owned by more than two people. If you have a family, if you have a family and uh, members, you have two or three people in the family. Once you have a joint account for budgetary purposes, let's say you have you, your spouse, and your mother, your your, your your aging mother so you want to be able to control how the expanding how the money is coming out of her account or your aging father for example or you your spouse and uh, both your both of your aging parents so you'll have a four member ownership account so section G the joint owner to employment information you put whatever you whatever applies if it, if it does apply and section H here it just the uh, these are just disclosures you need to read you just got to read them but basically it's just saying that um there are restrictions when we speak about minors under 14 and minors 14 and over depending on where you live and depending on the kind of products you want to get for your uh, for your for your minor for your underage relative and uh, there are things that also apply to joint owners that you want to really be aware of so if there is a survivorship designation, joint account with survivorship and without survivorship. And section H, no H, section I, requires signatures and tax certifications. So here you acknowledge that you have read and agreed to the information disclosure above that, that I just showed you. And uh, basically you just want to say that, you know, you are a US citizen or green card holder that you're not subject to a backup withholding from the IRS and that the the social security number that you provided is correct remember even if you are a foreigner and you have an i10 you can still qualify for membership in navy fed including your relatives your underage relatives okay so you just have to sign now you the minor has to sign so your relative your child or your niece or nephew he must sign or she must sign you must sign also and if you all the, the account owners must sign so you have to sign and date sign and date and uh, in terms of account funding you have to put the five dollar is required to establish membership remember at any time you can always go to the branch the nearest branch and have uh, information delivered to you you can apply at a branch no problem <music> All right, folks, this is it for today's conversation. Really, one thing I want to say here is that so I showed you the Navy Fed membership uh, application for applicants 18 and over. I showed you the paper form, the online form, and then we spoke about the Navy Fed membership application for a minor. Why you want to enroll your minor, your underage relative now? Why it's so important? So I walked you through the paper form. And uh, one thing I want to say is that good luck on your membership application best of luck for your underage relatives application god bless you your business and your family significantly and permanently now you want to go lay that strong financial foundation you and your family need and deserve thank you i will see you next time but until then remember stay marvelous